All right, guys, we're back. I decided to train nachos real quick because he was sick this morning. That's what I got up to. Big mess in his crate. He eats anything and everything. So I was like, oh, just get you guys to make sure you're not getting sick again. He was the one that had to have the piece of whatever it was taken out of his stomach. He's just a very good example of the trigger point, though. I'm on zero. And how to create a trigger point. I think I can say it's a trigger point all I want, but if I don't show people how to create it, and you've got to add something, you know, these people that sit there and hit the button and then the handler's got to add something to it. So I want to get my collar on. Oh, he's going to have to have a bath. He stinks to high heaven. That's what we woke up to this morning. You know, but he's not. He's been collar conditioned since a puppy. He's not having any biting at my hands, doing any of these things. So with him, the trigger point, the pager is going to cause an overt reaction. If you said, well, it looks like it's kind of jumping up in the air like the dog in the video. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Hey. Choose. So, same thing. That's his trigger point. The, the pager triggers the... So, look. I can push him. It's going to be the trigger point. It's going to cause a leap. Heel. The absence of it, absence of it is what's causing the sit. So it's going to cause a leap. Watch. Heel. It's going to cause a leap. You know, I'm causing that with the pager. It's, it's going to cause a leap. Heel. If you said, I don't want that, well, then don't use one of these because it's what's going to do. Doggy training. So right there, that's what caused him to move over there. I can cause him to leap off of there by using this as a trigger point. Heel. So, you know, that's what it is. And same thing, I can cause him, the very beginning, when I first trained him, and these are my personal dogs, you guys, like I really need personal dogs, but, you know, so I'm not training them on I'll tell you what happens. I'll tell you, when Stacy brought the brother here for training, I said, I'm going to work these along too so that they don't fall all behind. So that at the end of that time, the brother's got all this work in it and then these still don't have any. Then I'd have to face the fact it was me and my lack of work. But again, it's a trigger point. Heel. Heel. And so right here, it's, you know, it's triggering him to go faster. I don't know what else to say. I don't completely understand it. Because if you said their dogs jump around like that, I'd say, not that I've seen, you know, not that you can say, not that they can hit the constant and say, trigger point, I can make it jump. Heel. You know, so that's what it is. And, and, Jeremy, I don't know if you do the fetching with yours. You need to do the fetching with But you're going to use it as the trigger point for the fetching. So, and if you said, well, he's not steady. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. No, if someone said he's not steady, I'd say thank you for stating the obvious. I can kind of, all right, watch, sit. It's the trigger point. Yay! Ah, oh, they all get two. Ah! Oh! And my hair clip fell out. He'll probably get that too. And he's very in the. I was gonna say, I better not let him get that. He'll swallow it. You know, but if you said, why does he have such a nice turn on the return? I don't know who, anybody that retrieving dumbbells that wouldn't want that return. And it's because of the footwork. He's got the same footwork on this return. And I want you to watch it real closely when he goes, but sit. All right, trigger point. You know, but he's... <laughs> 
throwing himself back. Anyway, I guess he's not sick, so I'm fine. It was the biggest mess. He threw up, he had diarrhea all in the cage. This was it. This was at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, I think if you think of the trigger point, and if you said, well, I saw old videos of the dog, it wasn't like that. I, I think what it is, it, this is this is what I want you guys to think of with this training. It was like that before. Before he got trained, he jumped around, and he jumped up in the air and stuff. And all I did was train him, and then augment it back up to free agency. As far I'm not going to be able to get rid of this dog. He's going to keep staying around me, and I'm going to keep being able to say, trigger point, I can make him jump. Watch, I'm going to turn him that way. Heel. And I can make him back up. Boom. Ah! You know, and I mean, it's, it's a fast-moving dog. You know, and if you said, well, I don't like that kind of obedience, you're not going to like me then. You might want to tune out now because he believes if you said dogs don't like to jump, it's been my experience. They do like to jump and that they jump. Dog in training. All right, now watch. I'm making a bark. All right, watch. Trigger point. Heel. You know, and basically what I'm seeing from my viewpoint is a dog going right there, right beside me. And if you said, when are you holding the pager down? I'm holding it down until the point gravity takes over. That's what I'm holding it down to. And do it one more time. I'm holding it down until gravity, I'm holding it down as long as the dog. Oh, I hope that's George is coming to work. Okay, good. All right, I'm getting barking. All right, here's my trigger point. Heel. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm holding the pager down as the dog is going up. So if you said, well, is that making the dog go up? Or I don't know. That's what I don't know. All right, guys, George is here. Shoe bottoms is going to tear him apart. Well, she's a good watchdog. She's so big, people are afraid of her. The neighbors thought she was a pit bull. Anyway, uh, yeah, they looked out their window. That's when Shoe Bottom went over their house. Oh, she's awful. And they looked out their window and they saw Shoe Bottom. And what they thought they saw was a giant white pit bull in their yard. These people were scared to death. Anyway, guys, I will be right back.